This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Whether you're making a video for a client or YouTube, Storyblocks has you covered with their huge stock footage and After Effects library, which is constantly getting updated, so there's always something fresh to download. So Storyblocks is the perfect place to get the shots you need to enhance your projects, but a little more about that later on in the video. Yo, what's up guys? So I'll just go about and show you guys how I color graded and did a few things to this video. So as you can see, we've got our adjustment layer over top of all our clips. And the only thing on the adjustment layer is Color Finale Pro. So if we go into that, you can see bottom layer here just has the LUT, my orange and teal jungle LUT. And it's set to 100 at the moment. Curves, just a real simple slight S-curve there. And the vectors are slightly shifted the skin tones to a bit more of an orange rather than a red. Just for these shots at the beach, for example. If I come over to these and I reset that, they just come off a little too red for what I wanted. So just a very slight shift there. You don't need color finale to make any of these changes. I don't know why, I just I ended up using color finale for this one. But you could make all those changes using the tools here. You could uh, with the hue saturation curves could have shifted the skin tones with that slightly if I wanted to. So going back. So and then I've set everything within Color Finale Pro to 72%. So that preset is going to be coming through at. 72% strength okay so that's all that's in the adjustment layer a few clips I slightly adjusted the colors on just the clip alone but for this one for example nothing it's just the lap so if we turn that on and off and I'll just show you what it looks like just the lap on and off those small changes we made in color finale So you can see the LUT is doing almost all of the work. Really nice skin tones, making those teals pop. And then warming up those greens as well. So 
nice colors in this one. So if I just go in and if I show you, if I just turn off the LUT, you can see what the LUT is doing. Alright. Keep going, show you some more some nice colors in this one. Before and after. And here's a clip I got from Storyblock. So I used this from their website, just downloaded it, and I was really surprised at how well my LUT worked on this because it's not flat footage. I always color grade and edit with flat footage. But I was really surprised, really impressed. I was able to color grade this how I wanted, even though it wasn't flat or log footage. So really happy with that colors came off really nice if I show you before and after what I did was because it's not flat you just had had to I had to bump up the exposure of the shadows this is too much contrast flatten it out a lot and then that and when you remove contrast sort of took away some saturation so really happy how that turned out then keep coming Here's the shot before and after. Makes it nice and warm and bright. Okay, and now I'll just get into the changes I made to individual clips. So if we try to find some that I would have messed around a little with. So all these beach shots were shot on a really cloudy day. So the light is really soft. Nice soft light, but then the whites aren't very bright. So... For this one, I also brought down the saturation of the midtones just a bit. And then curves. You can see I've just brightened those whites a bit more. So when you shoot on a cloudy day, you get this nice soft light, but then it's sometimes not as bright as you want. So I just just to give it a bit more of a warm feeling. Shots at the beach, I went across and did this. And then I think I brought the saturation down of the mid-tones quite a bit on all the beat shots. So, and these ones, so this one, this shot in particular came off really cold. So color board, I've upped the whites a bit. The highlights, I mean, and then if I go to color wheels, this shot in camera came off really blue. So this is before the color wheels and after. So I just bumped up the temperature a lot so it would match up with my other clips. My other clips didn't come off this cold. So this one, for example, I didn't have to do the color wheels at all. It was already a nice temperature. So then you're just gonna match them all up. I think this one came off maybe a little cold yep so I did the color wheels added a bit of warmth and then it nicely matches up with my other clips this one this one no adjustments at all just a lot so. keep going this shot so I would have done some stuff to this Color wheels, warmed it up a bit. Color board, brought up the whites. Saturation of it all. Curves. It's a bit of a mess in this one because I was, I was trying to get as much color and detail out of the sky. So if I just show you. And then with the lap turning the light on and off for this clip so bang um, these clips they didn't do much at all looks like I've just lowered the exposure a touch this one so bit, bit of contrast those whites or well, pop to those whites there with the curves and down in the shadows so added in a little bit of contrast and then uh, brought 
brought down the whites of the exposure there. Mid tones. And then it was just too saturated in the shadows here, you can see. So really brought them down. And yeah, that's about it. Here's the just a lot. Color board. Just brought down the midtones. And put saturation in the highlights. I really wanted to have some nice vibrant colors in that shot. Color board, the shot, I brought down exposure. Yeah, not too much to that. Pretty much just a lot on and off. Not a lot going in there, just really subtle exposure to midtones, making it a bit warmer feeling. So all these beach shots, they have a little bump to those whites or highlights there. Just because it, the sun was a bit flat on the beach, one a bit brighter. And then these shots, not a lot to them. I think I wanted to really soften up the light in a few of these shots. So if I just reset that, you can see it's a bit dark. So brought up the mid-tones. And then brought down the highlights. Just to make it look a bit softer in these last few shots. Quite like the colours in them. Um, how about... So light on and off of this one. Looks good. And if we come over to the last shot here, here's another one from Storyblocks. And I'm really happy how my colors ended up in this shot as well. So if I just turn off the LUT on and off, you can see I'm really happy with those colors. And it's just awesome that you don't actually need completely flat footage to color grade these shots. And especially this shot here, it added a real new perspective to my video because I don't own a drone so I definitely always use story blocks to grab a drone shot or so just to really mix up the shots in my videos and yeah I'm just really happy with how my LUT also works on them so yeah I definitely recommend story blocks you guys can check them out first link down in the description and yeah i'll leave the video there guys comment who you guys want to see in terms of photo editing so i can reach out to them on instagram they can send in a photo i can do a tutorial on them and yeah i'll make the uh LUT for this video available to you guys go check it out over at my store check out the presets as well there's just a ton of value over there for you guys and yeah leave a like leave a comment i'll catch you in the next one